Hey everyone, this is Mark. So I've never done a video like this. I figured that now would be a good time to do it. Um, and what this video is about is, is a quick kind of discussion about buying uh, and selling um, and shipping vintage reel-to-reel -reel tape decks just like this one. Um, and this video was kind of motivated by a recent sale that I had uh, with a customer in California. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of guy that, you know, how could I put it, that is going to complain a lot about, you know, eBay or Reverb. Uh, I understand things happen. I understand that people have expectations that sometimes don't get met. Um, I also understand that people make purchases and then they regret them later, um, you know, and then try and, you know, come up with a way that they can recoup their money because of, uh, you know, a, a, a buyer's remorse situation. So, you know, when you sell as many of these vintage decks as I do, you come across all kinds of situations. But yeah, recently I sold a very expensive, expensive vintage Akai reel to reel to a guy in California. Um, it was a great deck. It was working fantastically. It sounded great. It looked beautiful. Uh, it was almost 40 years old, 37 years old. Um, I do, like I do with all my vintage reel to reels I test all the functions, I clean the pots and switches, and if it needs any further uh, technical uh, repairs, I give it to my technician who's really good with reel to reels So anyways, um, he got this reel to reel and, you know, I, I guess it didn't meet his expectation, um, didn't even bother to power it up. Um, he immediately started sending me pictures of every little tiny signs of use and age. I mean, it, 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 it was really amazing to, to look at these pictures and consider what this guy was complaining about. Um, you know, I, I, at first I didn't know how to respond to him because I was like, um, yeah, uh, it's a used reel to reel. It's 37 years old. I mean, it didn't have any bad cosmetic gouges or scratches or, you know, anything like that. It was a beautiful deck. It looked stunning. It really did. It just had normal signs of use, you know, a couple little nicks on the side and, you know, just normal stuff. Now, usually when I post these reel to reels, whether it be on eBay and Reverb, if it has any serious cosmetic flaws, I'll point them out. Um, and a lot of the times people will ask me for pictures. They'll ask me to elaborate on the condition. Um, I understand, trust me. I mean, I've been a professional audio engineer for 35 years, um, almost 35 years. And the thing is, is that you know, I can understand the difference between professional tape decks and how they're used and audiophile tape decks and how they're used. And generally speaking, audio engineers like me, we're more concerned about how a deck sounds than how it looks. Whereas audiophiles are generally more concerned about how a deck looks. A lot of guys I know that buy reel to reels don't even use them. They just put them up there just as trophy pieces. Um, so I can understand that this guy, you know, wanted a trophy piece. Um, but to focus in on every single little fingerprint and mark and nick and signs of, you know, normal use and claim that that's, uh, significantly not as described was just amazing to me. Now, of course, you know, eBay um, is always going to side with the buyer, um, although that has not been every time with me. Um, but when I called eBay, you know, even though I sold it, you know, as is uh, with no returns. And the reason why I do that is because it takes a lot of experience to pack these very large, very heavy reel-to-reels up the way they should be packed and make sure they get to their destination safe. And my experience is with people who don't know how to pack them up, they return them to me and they're damaged in shipping and I'm out a lot of money. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't like accepting returns. Uh, the other reason is because 
these are vintage reel to reels and you know things happen um just because they're working great today doesn't mean they're going to be working great a year from now or a month from now um things happen and uh they do need you know regular servicing like cleaning the heads and demagging the heads and you know if somebody is looking for a warranty you know or a 90 day you know warranty with one of these decks there's plenty of people out there who offer that at much higher prices but generally speaking you know most of the decks that i do in these presentations are going to be good for many years to come um so i just wanted to talk about that and explain that you know the reality of the conditions of these decks um you know time takes its toll if not from use then from dust if not from dust then from humidity if not from humidity um from use so it's it's you know you you really should you know when buying a reel to reel if you're going to be concerned about the cosmetic condition of it if you're an audiophile type who is more interested in how it looks uh than anything you should contact the seller and say listen um can you please elaborate on any small marks or nicks or tiny scratches um, before I buy it? Because I'd like to save, you know, me the trouble of getting it and not liking it and then returning it. Um, because unless it's new old stock or unless it's been sitting in a hyperbolic chamber for the last 40 years, all reel to reels of this age are going to have signs of use, period. I've sold hundreds. I've never, never come across one that was 100% mint. Even new old stock reel-to-reels that I've come across that have been sitting in the boxes for 40 years have signs of age. So keep that in mind when you're buying a reel-to-reel. -reel. As always, you know, ask questions. Um, know what you're buying before you buy it. And generally speaking, you know, you should have a really good uh, understanding of you know the reality of what you're getting but anyways thanks for watching this i mean i hope i've cleared up a couple of things um this specific deck is a great deck i'm getting ready to do a demonstration video for it yes it has some small signs of use and age and wear but on the vintage scale of cosmetic conditions in this deck i'd easily give this deck an 8 out of 10 but that my 8 out of 10 might not be someone else's 8 out of 10 uh, so it's always good to clear stuff like that up before you buy. But anyways, thanks for watching. And I hope I didn't rant too much. Um, you know, I can't explain it any better than the way I just said. Um, and I hope it made some sense. But anyways, thanks for watching.